Hey everyone, we are here with another mail call. So uh, let's get started. What do you think? First, uh, I don't know which one I want to start with. Let's start with the big one first because I've had it here longer. Uh, I'm not going to show you guys the front of this because it's got uh, addresses and so forth on it. But this one comes to us from the life and times of Barney Taylor. And I'll tell you how this one came about. Uh, Barney in one of his videos showed off uh, this, this uh, cap, this ER Durkee and Company cap, and I commented that Mama had found one like it, but uh, hers was not in as good a shape, and there's a little bit of history behind these caps. Uh, ER Durkee is from the Eugene R. Durkee, who started uh, his company in 1851, and these... Uh, Salad dressing lids, if I'm not mistaken, uh, were made more in the 1920s, so pretty cool stuff, but when Barney asked me if I wanted it, I'm like, yeah, I'll take it if you don't want it, so he sent it to me, and then after he sent it to me, he told me he sent a few more things off of his table, so uh, you see me guys wiping a little bit of this dirt off of here. If you have seen Barney's table, you know where this dirt come from. Uh, Barney... Uh, you see his, his table is covered with cool stuff. So if you guys haven't checked him out, go over and check out Barney's channel. I will put a link in the description. But it looks like he sent us a full harmonica reed plate that is bent. Never seen a full, or I hadn't dug a full one. This looks like, a, what are these things called? Uh, like an accordion uh, reed, if I'm not mistaken. I have never dug one of those. He sent us a 1971 half dollar, 50 cent. Okay. You know who 50 cent is? Okay, good. <laughs> All right. Uh, got us a, a wheat penny, and I can't see. Looks like a 1940-something wheat penny. Got a couple more wheat pennies. I'm not going to look at the date for time's sake. Hey, that's a dollar. That's a, a Franklin Pierce $1 coin. I don't know if I've got that one. A key. I like keys. Thanks for the key, Barney. Let's see what else we got here. Oh, a Model T valve stem cover. You ever seen one of those? I don't even know what that is. It looks like a screwdriver. You know what a Model T is? This is an indictment on our education program. A Model T? A Model T. Isn't that a car? Well, I'll be John Brown. It's a car. <laughs> Look at there. How old are you? Nine. Okay, the Model T is a little bit older than nine. There's another one. Here, another wheat penny, I'm sorry. And it looks like we got some dimes here. What is this? This is silver, Barney. A 1962, a 1956. Oh, wow. And that's a Merc. A 1944 Merc. Gee, thanks, Barney. You didn't have to do all that. Man, I really do appreciate that. Uh, those will look good in our collection. Eh. So y'all definitely go over and check Barney's channel out. Barney is uh, Barney's one cool dude. and He has got a table full of goodies. This one comes to us from the Clarks at Clarks Code Detecting. Check this out. Man, they sent us an Indian. An Indian head penny. A 1901 Indian head penny. That is cool. Guys, you did not have to do that. Uh, this was started with a channel sticker exchange. Clark's Cove stickers. Check that out. That is a cool looking sticker. I think they just unveiled their stickers just recently. In a, a mail call that they did. It says, good luck and happy hunting. The Clarks, Robert and Melissa, Clark Coast Detecting. Thank you so much, guys. And I will put a link to Clark's Code Detecting down in the description as well. All right, let's move on from the mail calls. What, what are we going to do next? 
What time is it? Our 500 subscriber giveaway. It is that time, guys. We do appreciate y'all. We appreciate all the support that y'all have shown us in the last, hmm, how long has it been? I don't lost count. Time flies when you're having fun. And that's what this is all about. It's about having fun and having a good time. And that's what we are going to try to do. So, we're going to give away, what are we going to give away in our 500 subscriber giveaway? Oh yeah, t-shirts. The last time I did a giveaway, I gave away a t-shirt and some coins and a lot of people commented and said they didn't care for the coins, they wanted the t-shirt. So this is what we're going to do this time. Since it's our 500 subscriber giveaway, we're going to give away five t-shirts to five lucky subscribers out there. All right. Here are the rules. All right. What? You must be a public subscriber to our channel. And leave a comment, including the phrase, the Tapping Smith t-shirt. That's right. And the winner will be drawn. And I always forget to announce when the drawing is going to be. So this time I wrote it down. That's what everybody's looking at is our cue cards over here. The winner will be drawn on May the 4th and announced on May the 5th. So that gives y'all a little bit of time. And uh, so, and here, here's a little bit of a kicker, a little bit of a bonus. Right now we're at 512 subscribers. My screen just went blank over there. Uh, 512 subscribers. If, if we can get enough people to share this video and get us to 600 subscribers, by 6 p.m. on May the 4th, and you ask why 6 p.m., because that's about what time I get home from work and start working on videos. So if you can get us to 600 subscribers by 6 p.m. on May the 4th, when we do the drawing on May the 5th, I will give away two t-shirts to the five subscribers that we draw. We'll use a random comment generator in order to do it. Uh, I will go ahead and throw in there, YouTube has nothing to do with this giveaway. This is totally sponsored by the Detecting Smiths and us just showing our appreciation to you, our subscribers. Uh, if there's anything you guys would like to see different or see new in our channel, how about leaving that comment in the uh, comments down below? And if that's something we can do, we will definitely make a good faith effort at it. Is there anything else? You know I always forget something. Yeah. Okay, is that it? So, Alright guys, 500 subscriber giveaway, Detective Smith's t-shirt, you got an opportunity to win at least one, possibly two. I, I will say this, and, and I kind of hesitated about doing this 600 subscriber thing because if any of you know me, I'm not necessarily all about the subscribers. Um, so if we don't get there, that's cool too. I think Gecko just swallowed a bone over there. So <laughs> he, he, he's doing some serious training. All right, we appreciate you guys. We appreciate all your support. Uh, if you do not win or cannot win one of our shirts, you can always run over to de uh, detectees.com, go to Shirts Designs, and check our shirts out there. <laughs> And uh, you can order one of our shirts or somebody else's shirt. You don't necessarily have to order a Detective Smith shirt. You can order one of uh, anybody else's shirts. We're not. Uh... Oh, yeah. Well, wait a minute. I forgot about my model. <laughs> Shell Bell here is supposed to model the shirts. This is, if you are new to our channel and you haven't seen one of our shirts, I don't even have one on. I got on a Detective shirt. But this is the front of the Detective Smith shirts. And this is the back of the Detecting Smith shirt. It's all bundled up. It says, No Detecting History Wanted. Okay? Get on over there and check them out and uh, do what you can to help us get to this uh, 600 subscribers so you will have an opportunity at winning two of our shirts. I'll throw in a couple pictures to show you the different uh, colors. So get on over there and check them out. Good luck to everybody. And you want to say anything else? Thanks for all the support. You want to say anything? She don't know. She's just here tomorrow. So, 
That's right. That's <laughs> right, Gecko. All right. Thank you guys again, and uh, we'll be looking forward to drawing those five names to see who wins those cool shirts.